okay, I went to Planet Com on Saturday and it was insane. It was intense, but I did end up picking up some really great things. So let me go ahead and do a real quick rundown on what I picked up. My buddy, Brian Gordon, phenomenal cartoonist. He had his second book out. It was awesome. He had pre advanced copies of Teenage of Tween Age Wasteland. I keep getting that wrong. He was nice enough to sign it for me. And this is a hilarious book. You guys are probably really familiar with this stuff if you see it on Instagram and things like that. But Brian Gordon is the guy that does foul language. Hilarious dude. Love talking to him. I would have had a second book from Peter Martin, Mexican kid. Uh, Mexican. <laughs> God, I can't believe I messed that up. He was there, finally got a chance to meet him, but what I did end up picking up from him, he, I found out about him a long time ago because he worked on this great cartoon for Hallmark called Asteroid Andy, and he had a few of these, and he was kind enough to bring a few by for me, and I am so happy. I have been dying to try and locate one of these things, and I ended up with three of them. That was great. So, the next book here that I'm going to talk about is from the Chronicles of M's, it's a Chronicles of M story, Five Man Midget Death Squad, and Hitori, another book in this. So, and you'll also notice here there is a comic from Five Man Midget Death Squad. This is evidently a chapter, I believe, is how Nick explained it. So, Nick Forstel is the author of these books. I believe he said these were the second edition ones. This was the second artwork on both of them. And I want to say that it is so nice to run across... A circumstance where the author is so involved and able to... I, when you talk to Nick, like, first of all, it is uncanny how incredibly intelligent and open Nick is and how much he loves fantasy and sci-fi and things. I cannot wait to jump into this and just get a small glimpse of the creativity and passion that he has for the subject matter. Everything he described about this, and I know I won't do it justice, so I'm going to end up reading these and then doing a book review of these as well on my YouTube channel, and you guys can check that out later. So, I have that, and I'll also be taking a look at this too. I forgot to get the artist to sign this. i got to do that. The next book I picked up was this one, Words, Notes, and Drawings of Animals by Matthew Hawkins, who is Matthew Made Art. He's here on TikTok as well, and this is great. It has his album in here. It has a sticker, and then it has a bunch of his artwork that he makes. This is so freaking rad. I love seeing stuff like this come together. This, everything about this is just wonderful. The design, the simple design with a hot foil on here, I think this is actually cold foil, is just freaking brilliant. And I love how this came together. Um, the other things I gotta show here, my buddy Jake, who works at Hallmark, is one of the ornament designers. Now, this was not something he was selling at the show. I had asked him to pick this up for me because he worked on the Hallmark ornament for the Sega Dreamcast. There's his name there on the back. Let me go ahead and open this up for you. We take a look at it here. There's some spare batteries in here. It comes with button cell batteries. Thank you, Hallmark. You open this up, and I, he got, had two of them. So, this is the final thing here. This is freaking gorgeous, and he was kind enough to sign it for me. It does have sound effects, and it lights up. I I have a lot of his work, and I'm going to show you something else. So, yes, he is a very talented ornament designer, but he also designs these things. I'm going to show you first the one that I picked up last year. I call them zomsicles. I forget exactly what he calls them, but this is a 3D print that he does, but this is his sculpting, and it's a wall hanger. And this is so freaking beautiful. I picked up one of the other ones in the series. And there's a third one I've got to lock down and get from him. I should have picked it up at the show, but I didn't think about it. And these things are just amazing. They're great. While I have so much of Jake's stuff here in my studio. All right. So let's move that out of the way here. So this is from Dorky Dino. My friend Brandy Miller designs these incredible little creatures. This is her little chunky unicorn. I don't, I think she's here on TikTok too. Man, it's been so long since I've been on here, but check out her stuff. I also have her dorky dinosaur design and I can't find the patch. I don't know where I put it. I know I set it down somewhere and it disappeared here in the studio, but I'll find it. Now this, there's a story behind this. This is an X-Wing, a little micro X-Wing. It was made out of computer parts. And this is by Shankalonian Studios. My buddy Daniel Shank Shanks is stunningly good at this stuff. Now there's a story behind this because a few years ago I had a buddy who actually worked on my computer digital absinthe and built that. He had a whole bunch of old computer parts left over and I believe these are still some of the parts from that. So if you get a chance to follow him on Instagram or on Facebook, 
It's Shankalonian Labs. He does all of this stuff built out of computer parts. He's built, and this is a micro build that he has. He's built massive AT-ATs and all kinds of starships and stuff. I also have a Borg uh, collective ship in my collection. It's over in another part of the studio, so I don't, I can't go grab that right now. But I wanted something small to be able to put on my desk, and this was absolutely perfect. Absolutely wonderful. So yeah, this was all the stuff I ended up picking up from friends of mine who are incredibly creative, incredibly talented people. If you ever get the chance to come to Planet Comic Con, these are the people that should be there. They have done it in years past, and I cannot recommend them enough. Check them out. Look them up. I will certainly feature more stuff from them. Maybe I'll take a look at each one individual. If you guys want me to, to show one off a little bit more, just let me know. Leave a comment down below. Whatever you want to do, that's great. I just wanted to promote this stuff. I am so damn happy because Saturday was incredibly busy. It was, I, I heard numbers of over 100,000 people in the venue and I was so happy to see lines and groupings in front of everyone's table and people selling. I didn't make it to all of my friends. There were so many other people that I wanted to pick up other books from, other things from, and I didn't make it, but this was the small cadre of people that I did get to. Anyway, thought I'd show this off and I thought you guys would enjoy it, so there you are. Thanks a lot.